Well, no matter how much you get around, you're likely from time to time to run into something you didn't know about. With that said, if you're in a local park one day and you run into what Anne Marie Berger ran into, well, now you'll know what these guys are up to. Thanks for coming out to the St. Louis Spring Sizzler. Um, this is a PHA C tier event, so PHA rules are in effect. Um, you, you know, foot fouls are in effect, so no falling putts, no foot fouls off the front of the tees. Sounds like he's talking about golf. Well, actually, he is. But this isn't your Tiger Woods Country Club kind of golf. It's disc golf. And the main difference between this sport and ball golf is, well, there's no ball. Disc golf requires the obvious, a disc. And in place of a hole in the ground, there are baskets, where players hope to sink their discs. Under par, of course. That was a birdie, baby. Now, I can't tell you where this is going, so get ready to duck. To better understand this sport and why its players feel so strongly about it, I met some friends at Sioux Passage Park in North County for a little lesson. Now, when you say tea... Well... <laughs> what does that mean? When you tee off, these are, I guess, if you compare it to ball golf, these are your, these are your tools here. Okay. This is your, your ball and your club, basically. Okay. And that's, that's This is driver. all you need. That's all you need. That's, well, that's not exactly true. You also need some skill. But from what they tell me, that comes with time and practice, which I apparently need a oh, lot of. Was, I don't like the driver. <laughs> oh, watch out! <laughs> Where's the carts? Well, since the trees in the way, you really, it really went far. You can't see it over the brush. What makes this sport appealing to so many is that it's not expensive to play. You don't have to belong to a club. Most of the courses are free to use, and the one that isn't costs less than a dollar. No. And the discs? They only run between 6 and 15 bucks, sometimes less. Good bucket. Oh. It's like 40 yeah. feet. In tournaments. If you play as an intermediate or advanced, anything under pro or open, division-wise, they pay you out with discs and sometimes trophies and sometimes minis. I certainly have a long way to go before I am tournament material. Even if I mastered this course, it's possible the next time I come, it won't be the same. I'm a little disappointed in my play. I could be playing a little better. I thought I was going to come out here and know the pin placements pretty well, but... They uh, switched them up on me. It's like in ball golf. If you play the course today, the greenskeeper might go out and move all the pins on you tonight. So if you're playing it two days in a row, you, it's the same idea. Disc golf is a recreational sport, but it's also a competitive sport to be taken seriously. There's amateur tournaments, professional tournaments. The Pro Disc Golf Association, the PDGA, has more than 6,500 active members nationwide. The River City Flyers is the local PDGA club in St. Louis. There are courses located in 10 area parks. If you've ever wondered what those chain-linked baskets are, well, now you know. In a way, disc golf in our area is a grassroots movement. Due to park shrinking budgets, development and maintenance, such as concrete tee pads, baskets, and grooming of the courses, falls on the shoulders of the local club. The people that work on the disc golf course, we do it ourselves. That is totally 100% funded by the River City Flyers. Um, the, through the club, you know, we make money, and that's how the concrete pads go in. That's how our tee signs go in. That's how we're able to have. Right now, we've got three pin placements at each golf course. Hole 13: Aaron Chadwick, Chris Balpinski, Philip Hoey. Ron is the course captain at Jefferson Barracks, one of only two parks with concrete tee pads. And the reasons enthusiasts like Ron spend large amounts of their own time grooming and updating the courses aren't selfish ones. The better the course is, the more tournaments they can host. The more tournaments they host, the closer they get to having a major PDGA tournament in St. Louis. 
And in the meantime, I'll be brushing up on my strokes.